got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I feel like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. Dr. Jeremy Weiss here with Bradley Will. We're live from the Prosper Show and Las Vegas, right? Las Vegas. So we're going to talk about tools, software and tools to run your business. We're just doing this in front of Cubana because it's one tool that people run to uh, use to run their business and automate their business. But we're going to talk about three tools Bradley likes to use. And uh, what what's the first one that people, that's like a must use that you use daily that you can't live without? Slack. What do you use Slack for? Uh, Slack is amazing for communication, team communication. Before Slack, I like to think of like what was life before Slack? It was text messaging, Skype, Facebook messages, Google Hangouts, having communication everywhere. And so what Slack does is it condenses all the communication to one platform where I can use it on my phone and every device and everybody on my team can come and you know communicate on separate channels for whatever channels we want to set up and private messaging so how do you set up the channels is it per project or um usually by a theme like so we'll have a channel for projects so specific projects or specific clients and then uh like specific themes like another tool i use is infusionsoft so all infusionsoft communication would happen under one specific channel another tool i'll use is click funnels uh for marketing pages so another uh channel would be ClickFunnels communication to keep everything in one place. So you mentioned a few in there, Infusionsoft and ClickFunnels. Which one uh, do you want to talk about first? Infusionsoft. Okay. It's amazing. So how do you use Infusionsoft? Because a lot of people, and I also want to talk about some alternatives to Infusionsoft, because yeah. sometimes Infusionsoft, that confuses people, it's complicated, but how do you use Infusionsoft? What do I use it for? I think um, for small business automation. So, you know, being able to sell products and have, I, I think the big, the big benefit of Infusionsoft is having marketing automation. If this happens, then that. To really be able to segment your communications to, you know, the audience like that wants to receive that message. So, you may be saying one thing to one person and that might not resonate with, you know, them and you say it in a different way to another, a different person it might work for them. So being able to filter on the front end, like if somebody opts into your, your marketing funnel, to be able to filter on the front end to bucket people into different, well, put them into different buckets and yeah. communicate with them differently. So let's talk about segments, right? So what are some, some different segments that you use um, or that you've uh, found that is valuable for people to use because like you, you want to speak to the di people differently, um, obviously market them differently depending on where they're at. Um, so what are some different segments people should consider if they're trying to kind of divide their audience and speak to them differently? I think that starts with really understanding your customer and, and interviewing them. I'll give you an example. Um, somebody in the Amazon selling business, they might want to, if they sell educational products to people that want to sell on Amazon, they might want to segment somebody that has no experience in selling on Amazon, somebody that has made a few sales selling on Amazon, and then somebody that is a top seller and they have a business that's very successful on Amazon. You're going to speak to those people very differently very in your marketing follow-up. Yeah. And so within those, they'll go down that path and there's going to be a different sequence of email messaging so that it speaks to that particular customer. Because if it's someone who's a top seller on Amazon, you say, here's how you set up a description. They're like, oh, this is too beginner for me. And they completely opt out and they get yeah. turned off. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Um, and so what else, what are big mistakes people are making when using Infusionsoft? Mm. I think uh, not planning enough and spending the time. See, Infusionsoft, it can be complex because it has a lot of functionality. There's a lot you can do with it. 
Um, taking the time to work with a professional or an expert that knows what they're doing to really plan out like your tagging, for example. You could tag contacts. You can, you can kind of go overboard where you have you know, hundreds of tags that are just marketing, uh, marketing contacts you know, based on actions or interests or behaviors. Yeah. So like a tag could be top seller on Amazon tag and it could be a beginner tag. And yeah. so where somebody opted into one of your forms and you're going to want to put a tag on them saying they opted into this form for this interest, um, really planning it out so that three months down the road, you, you like you actually have a structure to operate you know, your business on Infusionsoft. Because if you have that, you can leverage a lot of the tools uh, and the functionality that it provides. What are some alternatives to Infusionsoft that you find people are using? Because sometimes people find Infusionsoft complex and or it's just, you need like a full-time person to run it unless there's someone like you who's an expert at running Infusionsoft. What are some other ones out there that you find people are using? Um, I see them, you know, like on the lower level, I don't want to discredit it, Active Campaign is another tool. Uh, uh, HubSpot is much more, I think, enterprise software. I don't have any experience with it, but I know a lot of people use it. And Entreport, Entreport as well. Uh, what I like about Infusionsoft in particularly is that it has all in one. Right. So you have your affiliate marketing, you have your e-commerce, you have you know all your shopping cart uh, pages, all your marketing automation, you know opt-in forms. You can have that all in one one space. Yeah. Yeah. So the other one you mentioned, I don't know if we want to talk about this or a different one, but another tool you mentioned was ClickFunnels. Is there another one that's more important or you think ClickFunnels would be good to talk about? ClickFunnels is great. It's great for uh, marketing pages and being able to customize and track funnels. So like, let's say you have an opt-in form, a thank you page, um, or in, in example, what we, we do a lot is webinars. Take me through like an optimal funnel, like in the tools that are used, right? So. Someone, you have like a ClickFunnels page and you've an opt-in to a webinar, right? So take me through what that process, process looks like. That's, that's a loaded question. I, I mean, but, we don't yeah. have to talk about the Infusionsoft tagging or anything, yeah. but, okay. you know, there's, well, there's, a, <laughs> there's a, an opt-in to a webinar from ClickFunnels. Yeah. And then what happens after that? Um, typically, what I would like to do is have the opt-in page, registration page for the webinar, thank you page. On the thank you page, we'll have like a video, maybe a survey they can submit their questions in advance, maybe some added uh, video content on there for people to consume and, and warm up depending on the audience. Uh, after that, um, that's pretty much the opt-in process. You're going to have a, um, I use go-to webinar for the, for the webinar pages, but we're going to have a replay page. And then we're also going to have an order page and, uh, and sometimes like a sales page and then an order page for them to check out so they can see the sales page of the product, click there, and then have the order page. You can do that all within ClickFunnels. You can. And then anything else with ClickFunnels that people should be thinking about? That's pretty much it. Um, I mean, some other alternatives are, I mean, people use Webinar Jam, right? And what else? I mean, if, they, if they're not using, so use a combination of ClickFunnels and GoToMeeting, right? GoToWebinar. Go use GoToWebinar webinar for the, the actual webinar platform, time tested. There's always new technologies coming out. So somebody's gonna say, what about Zoom? What about, there's a lot of great technologies out there. I've used GoToWebinar for the longest time. It's been reliable, it's been tested, it works well. And uh, uh, you know, for if you're doing automation for your online events, Webinar Jam or EverWebinar, those are you know good tools for that to do on-demand events like replay uh, simulated live experiences yeah. just if you're doing that don't try to fool people if you're if you're listening to this and you're like hey i'm going to do these automated webinars just don't try to call it something it's not if it's not a live event don't call it that get yourself mm -hmm. in hot water what do people call it so that they m remain congruent call it online event you can call it just uh you can call it a webinar meeting room uh i just don't you know just i'd be very clear it's better to be honest and in integrity with your audience uh, you could say this is a replay, um, but don't, you know, again, just you don't want to, you want to avoid calling it something live if it's not. Because some of those tools, they have, you know, like simulation of like chat and things that are just not in integrity and, you know, yeah. doesn't, doesn't work well. Yeah. I mean, I know one person for the automated webinars, they have, they staff someone to answer those chat, even though it's automated, 
they will have someone live answering the chat. What's your thoughts on that? Or how do you yeah. get that, kind of make that experience more so it's live? Mm. Um, you know, there's a lot of uh, gray lines. Like, I just kind of like, you know, we look at the line of integrity. And it's just like what I try not to pull a fast one on anyone. I don't want to fool anyone. Uh, so... I would personally avoid it. Some people might ha not have a problem with it, uh, to do it that way. Um, it's hard to say. Yeah. You know, everybody's got to use their best judgment on it. I don't personally use it. So, I mean, so some of the tools, Infusionsoft, ClickFunnels, GoToWebinar, um, there's many, many more. So, thank you. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. Like a peach if you find the same And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand